I uh, want to tell you guys, uh, I had to piss in a grocery store. Now, this is a this is relatable content. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to pee in a grocery store, but sometimes it's hard to find the place because uh, there's not a sign always. You know, you got to talk to somebody. And so I'm like, hey, where do I pee? And the guy's like, oh, go through those double doors. And, right. And I'm like, yeah, well, am I allowed? Because everybody's going through there has like an apron on or like a tag. And so I'm like, it looks like staff only. It's like, no, you gotta go through there. There'll be doors, you'll see it. I go back there, I don't see it. I see a girl clocking in. I see a guy spraying produce, backstage produce. I didn't even know it was a thing. And so there's like three doors. Uh, none of them say restroom. So I have to like ear hustle to hear bathroom noises. And so I hear a sink, you know? And so I'm like, oh, this must be the spot. And so I go in and I kind of like open up the door. And uh, I, I don't know if anybody's had this happen. I walk in on a guy talking to himself in the bathroom mirror. I walk in right as the guy says, that was really scary. <laughs> what the fuck did I miss? 20 seconds prior, some shit went down. I'm coming in cold. I have no idea what's going on. So I'm like, I gotta pee. I go to the urinal. I realize subconsciously I'm pissing as hard and as fast as I can because I don't want whatever he's scared of to get me. I'm just like, we gotta hurry. It could be in here still. You don't know. I go back into the grocery store. I had to shop. I didn't want there to pee. And so I go in and I notice a family, an adorable little fam, a mom with her kid. Her kid's sitting in the cart just staring up at her. And I even think to myself what an adorable little family this is. And then uh, the kid is the most well-spoken kid I've ever heard. The kid goes, Mother, I'm terribly hungry. May I please have some grapes? And the mom goes, Nope. <laughs> and then the mom shoves like six grapes in her own mouth. I'm like, What a fucking insufferable human this mom is. Like, why are you like, okay? And then I'm a couple aisles over, several minutes later. I'm walking this way as they're walking this way. And the kid now has like a hint of desperation in their voice. The kid's like, mother, I'm famished. <laughs> May I please have some grapes? And then the mom is like, nah. -uh. And then she like, eats some more grapes. And I'm like, who hurt you? Like, why are you like this, you know? And so I hope I never see her again, but uh, as fate would have it, I'm behind them in the checkout line. And the kid's crying now, the kid's like weeping. The kid's like, mom, please, please, can I have some grapes? And the mom's throwing grapes in the air, like catching in her mouth. It's like fully mocking this kid. And so I'm like, what the f and then the mom is like, I forgot something. And she runs back into the grocery store and leaves the kid in the cart. So I turn to this kid, and I'm like, yo, here's your chance, you know? You should eat some of these grapes. And the kid says, sir, if I eat these grapes, my mother will be terribly upset. So like, I look around and I just start giving, I grab some of the grapes off the bunch and I start feeding it to the kid from my hand. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen a kid have an allergic reaction to eating grapes. Uh, <laughs> It happens way faster than you think it's going to. Uh, some of you guys look concerned, and I have to say, <laughs> the kid's fine. The kid's fine. I hope. I dropped my shit and I ran out of the store. <laughs> Through the parking lot, across the street, into a Mexican restaurant where I just went to the restaurant. I was like, that was really scary. Right as somebody walked in, I'm like, fuck, I'm that guy now. This is like Inception. 